So, what am I talking about now? It's not related to Portland, although it's, it is slightly related to uh, kind of the concepts I've been talking about with um, people who get lied to get red-pilled really hard <laughs> when they find out they've been lied to and uh, why it's not a good long-term strategy for the left, particularly with the internet. People find their way, people learn the truth, and then you're never going to get them back. You're never going to get them back. And specifically, I'm going to talk about, um, I don't know her full name. Um, she goes by a, a Political Sherry, or Cherry, C-H-E-R-I. I don't know if it's Cherry or Sherry, or, um, or Cherry, however it's pronounced. Whatever. This is something I came across, uh, I guess it was a couple months ago at this point, um, because she came out as, you know, like a Trump supporter. And I was like, okay, who's this person? Like, why is this a big deal? Why do I care? Uh, but she made some videos that were just really short about, like, her journey. And it pretty much just came down to, like, well, I was told this, this, and this. And then I went and I met these people. And I asked them, oh, do you really believe all this racist crap? And they just were like, no, for God's sake, just do your own research. Like, like, or here's the, here's the video. Here's what the president actually said. Or don't describe that to me. This is what I actually believe. Don't listen. Don't tell. Don't listen to CNN saying what I believe. Listen to me. What I'm saying, I believe. And uh, just you know, she got completely red pilled. Now, what's so interesting about this person? She is. She's essentially a digital prostitute. Uh. Conservative right, right evangelical Christ Christians are now in the same camp with people who are essentially doing, for lack of a better term, internet prostitution. How did that happen? Very strange alliance. And she seems like a really, really nice girl. Um, I, I didn't expect I'd ever, you know, we'd, we'd ever be the cool people who have the edgy, you know, uh, edgy naked hot chicks. I just never thought that was something I associate with the right. I do now, and I think I, I think I kind of understand why. Um, so I want to talk about that. Basically, the, lots, a lot of these uh, girls have like OnlyFans accounts, and they're essentially independent adult entertainment, adult content creators. They're independent. They're canceled upon arrival because they're already doing something that's super taboo. They're selling, um, selling their bodies, sort of. Um, or images. I mean, nobody's touching them, but like, they're selling their sexuality, and uh, they're making a kill in doing it. The, the ones who are good at it are, are really doing it, and they love having the freedom to do that. They love that we don't want to tax them, we don't want to shut them down, we want them to kind of do their thing, and uh, just you know, we don't have to. We don't have to participate. You know, like no, you know, the average evangelical isn't going to go you know, signing up for an OnlyFans account, but they also don't want to shut you down and tell you, you know, what you can do. They're just going to say, you know, maybe they agree with it, maybe they disagree with it, but despite being in power for three years, there hasn't been any legislation to try to crack down on those people because we kind of realized, eh, you know what, it's not, it's not a, it's not our call. And uh, that's been a very good thing for basically the GOP to kind of drop a lot of the moralizing that we had pretty much, uh, I guess, I guess pre-Trump era, we lost a lot of the um, Bill Crystal types, the neocons, the pure Puritan, puritanical types, who always made you know the right cringe, especially the the young people on the right. They're like, oh, this, I know what they're saying, but they really we shouldn't. Government shouldn't be involved with that. We lost those people, and we gained libertarians who were just embarrassed because the Libertarian Party is a steaming garbage pile right now. Um, so Ch Sherry has. A series of videos where she's talking about basically like oh she used to be on the left now she's on the right and there was something very interesting about that that basically she was lied to and she believed a lot of things and she she believed that the right believed things finally got up the courage because she wants to debate them because she was you know she wanted to you know be able to stand her ground and understand why she hated these people because why wouldn't you want to understand that and then she talked to the people, and these people, they're like, we don't, we don't hate you. We're not racist. What are you talking about? Like, just please look up. Please look up what our stances are and ask us. Don't just, like, take CNN's word for it. And she did. And that pretty much, again, it, it's, if you lie to somebody, 
like that, and then they find out you lied. You've you've red pilled them harder than harder than somebody listening to Rush Limbaugh for thirty years. It it's that's just what happens. You, you can you've you've betrayed their trust, and now they're not going to believe anything you've said, and they're not going and they're gonna and they're gonna throw your values in the trash can too. And now she's on the right. I'm I'm glad she came around to what I believe is the correct side, but like. I couldn't have done that. I couldn't have had a conversation with her and convinced her to be on the right. No, she took that journey herself. And it was only as powerful as it was because she was being lied to to the level she was being lied to. That's crazy. That's that's really crazy to, to, to see something like that. Um, I kind of want to talk about like, like why I think that the uh, OnlyFans stuff is... Is, is is taking off and, it, and it's so popular right now um, and why it's so appealing to uh, young men of this age um, and I'm gonna say men I'll say I'll, I'll stretch it to 40 and under uh, so I'm like right in the middle so some some guys are older some guys are younger some guys are just you know turning 18 and they got a credit card so they're gonna be spending on stupid stuff oh no I think we spend more money on Steam than pornography. I think I think my generation. I think uh, I think I think video games are. We spend way more money on that than we do on uh, any kind of adult entertainment. I mean, we ain't going to strip clubs. We're locked down. <laughs> so what are they gonna do? Um, there's a couple reasons for this, and I think a lot of it has to do with just the um, guys are told they're shit. They're they're misogynist. They're internalized uh, patriarchy all this other stuff they're you know we're told that uh, we're just you know rapists waiting to happen um sherry and people like her i'm saying is it sherry or Sh or cherry or sherry I'll, I'll say i'll say um i'll say cherry i think i think that's how it is um she doesn't treat her literally customers like that she says she whether you know she how how too hard she takes it, I don't know, but she treats guys like kings. You know, she's there to pleasure and entertain you, and uh, that's like the complete opposite of of how guys are treated normally. It's uh, women. We're not here for for you to look at. Well, she's here for us to look at, and guys can't. You know, guys guys aren't used to that. That that's something shocking. <laughs> you know, um, and that, that's probably why dudes jump on it. Um, there's another thing too, um, we're told that liking, you know, skinny women with big bosoms and, you know, the, the hips and all that, uh, you know, the wear her organs types, we're, we're told that like, that's, you know, that's not inclusive, uh, you know, like people like Lena Dunham, like, like the ugly and appreciate it. And if you don't, you're a bigot. And, uh, you know, it's like somehow it's, it's privileged to have somebody who's like thin and hot and fit. She's gorgeous, and she doesn't fit the bill of what the left essentially wants to say is is beauty. And guys, they're gonna flock to seeing her girls like her. That there's she's just way more she's just way more attractive than what the left's pushing out there. The left's saying you have to accept. And uh, is it really any surprise that that's where they that's where the guys want to hang out, or that's I should say that's where the guys want to spend their money and time is looking at you know beautiful women as opposed to what the left is is pushing. Not a huge surprise. Um, and then the last thing I think, and I think this is actually the most, the most critical, um, because I know because it's because um, I've, I've interacted with her on on Twitter, and uh, I've interacted with with people in that uh, profession. Um, it's basically uh, the ability to make uh, the ability, even even just the ability to compliment. A woman on their sexuality or how they look or their appearance or um or or uh was it their uh just just be, be able to joke about something that's that's you know inappropriate or edgy um guys don't get to do that ever anymore because if you joke with a woman or if you flirt with a woman um you'll get me you can get me too if they decide they don't like you after the fact it doesn't matter whether it was consensual. You said something to them, and then they, they, you know, that's, you're done. Your life's over. Now, with these, essentially, internet, you're basically paying to interact with these people. Um, like, like, uh, Sh Shiri. 
um, the guys who are interacting with her, um, they can kind of flirt and say whatever they want, and they're maybe they're probably not good at it. Uh, maybe they, some of them come off kind of creepy, um, but they don't have the experience because they haven't interacted with. They've been they've been afraid to interact with women um, in general because being awkward or 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 you know sending the wrong signals or, or re receiving signals incorrectly uh that's that could be fatal for a guy's career or for a guy's life um this is why like a lot of guys kill themselves um because if you screw up uh, the woman just has to claim to be a victim right or wrong i mean maybe some dudes maybe the guy did do something really creepy and maybe he was being a jerk you also might need to learn and he, and a lot of these mistakes guys don't learn young when they're young because uh because of the whole Me Too thing. Like, there's no... You, they're just afraid to even interact. They're afraid to flirt. They're afraid to to, to make a joke or uh, or or compliment a woman. The, the guys are paralyzed now because they, they know it can be... It can be construed to be something that it's not intended to be. Uh, or or they they don't get the chance to, to learn the hard lessons about, you know, how do you... How do you interact with a woman? How do you... How do you... How do you actually flirt? How do you actually... Um, compliment a woman how can you tell when she's giving you the right signals guys don't learn that now they're they're afraid um because if you if you screw up in that process uh it's like if you make a mistake during training or when you're a young man it's going to follow you for the rest of your life and so guys just say nope screw it nope i'm gonna just go and uh sign up for an only fans and that's gonna be my interaction and guys are guys are craving that interaction and uh basically people like cherry she, she's providing that service which is like that's why they're that's why they're they're millionaires. That's why they're making so much money, and that's why they're so popular, is because guys are starving for this, and they've they've essentially said, look, you know what? I'm gonna respect you enough to uh, allow you to you know allow the outlet of uh, interaction and attention, and not judge you, um, even if somebody gets blocked because they are a creep. They're not going to drop their private DMs or anything and ru ruin the person because other people are interacting. You know, you, if you did that to a client, um, even somebody who had who had done something wrong or you no longer were, you know, allowed them to be a client of yours, uh, that would ruin the trust between essentially the person who's running the business and the customers. And in this case, it's the, um, the OnlyFans girl and the guy. Uh, the guys who are involved. Uh, there's a certain level uh, of trust that what they're what they're doing back and forth is confidential, um, so they can experiment, and they can uh, just they can express themselves in ways that they they couldn't do with uh, a normal person, with with a normal girl. And uh, in some ways, is that is that a good thing? Uh, it might actually be mentally healthy for a lot of these guys, because um, you know some guys are horny on Maine. And uh, they, they, that's just how they're gonna, that, that's their outlet. I mean, they're not gonna go uh, cat call somebody. They're not gonna go try to pick up a chick at a bar. They're not gonna do it because uh, they're gonna get me too. And uh, this is a really safe outlet for that. Um, but I think a lot of the hatred directed towards them is, is because I think these, uh, Radical feminist types, they, they see that, that this, this, this service uh, to, to men is being provided, and they don't like that. Like, like not only should, should men not act a certain way, not do certain things, blah, 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 like, 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 like we're all a monolith. They want us to, to, to be all, you know, soy boys. Not only that, um, when we don't have to do that because someone has provided an alternative, they want to shut that down, too. Um, you should see the amount of hate some of these people get. Uh, Sherry comes out. She's on the right now. And she says, oh, I'm supporting Trump. Up, up. And the venom and the fangs and the racist crap. She was actually showing uh, messages that lefties were sending. It's like, Christ. Like me? Like, I assume people are who are any type of celebrity or popular are just on the left. Because that's just, that's just what I've discovered interacting-wise. So when I see somebody's on the right, I'm like, oh, that's pleasant. I'm like... You don't get a medal. I, I, I don't care that much. But then you see the amount of hate they get for being on the right. And you're like, oh my god, this took that took some balls. And, it, and it's silly. It shouldn't. It, it, we shouldn't be in a society where like saying you play for the red team or the blue team is like life changing. 
but we do. So that's all. I wanted to just mention that because it's a it's a strange phenomenon that I've been seeing going on, and it's made the write a lot more fun. <laughs> we have a lot more interesting people to talk to, and we have a lot more uh, interesting conversations. And and it's I know it's enriched my view of uh, society, and it's enriched my view of of uh, humanity uh, because it, that kind of person um, I, I don't think 20 years ago I would have ever even thought I would have a conversation with let alone have uh, extended interactions with let alone be voting the same with it's wild really wild and uh, I don't know where it leads we'll we'll see it should be pretty cool so um, I think we're all learning and we're all getting to know each other and, and especially here on the right and people who support Trump because, uh, man, the people who hate us really hate us. And, uh, I guess that's what's uniting us for now. But I don't know. I just wanted to share my thoughts on that because I, I think it's a fascinating phenomenon.